Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am currently filming in my guest bedroom because this is like the best lighting in the house and it's not that good. I filmed this video in another room of my house and I just could not upload it. I, uh, it was just so bad, the lighting and everything. And now like, this is the lighting in here. Like, let's see where I can like fit. Like, this is a good spot. I just don't have something here to hold it. So the lighting is definitely much better here, but it is definitely not my favorite, but maybe next time we'll figure it out. We can do this. I want to buy like um, like lighting equipment and everything, but I don't know how long I'm going to be in Hawaii, so there's no point in just buying stuff I can't ship back. So hey, this is I guess another kind of an update video talking about marriage. Um, so it is currently, today is August 20th, so I've been married for a little over six months and boy has that just flown by. <laughs> I wanted to make this video with Josh but Josh might not be in much of my videos in the future. Uh, filming makes him kind of uncomfortable and I can understand uh, filming definitely makes me uncomfortable. Uh, it is a lot to put yourself out online and especially when people you know watch your videos and it is very, very difficult. The scrutiny and it's just hard. The internet can be very mean. And also you don't really always want like a whole bunch of stuff online. But I do want to share with you guys how um, my marriage has been because, I mean, I literally just told you guys I got married and then you never got photos, you never got videos, and now it's been six months and like you, who knows, I could even be divorced, you, you haven't heard anything about it. Um, so far, everything has just been going great. Uh, marriage has been amazing and one of the best decisions I have made in my life thus far. And I'll tell you why. Um, we got married so six months ago and the time has just flown, flown by so fast. We uh, were in California for a little bit and now we've been out here for a little over four months just living on a small island in Hawaii. It has definitely been a reality shock, but I'm glad we have each other. I've learned quite a bit from marriage. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that um, marriage in of itself, for me, didn't really change my relationship with Josh. Uh, it felt kind of like a birthday. You know how like it's your birthday and like you're a year older technically, but you don't feel any different. That's how I felt like with my relationship with Josh. Like our relationship didn't really change a lot. It's so, like I mean, some things obviously have changed to our relationship, but. Like, the way we love and treat each other, like, there's no, like, magical veil or thing that happened. N nothing at all. No, if that makes sense. Like, it's like some people, like, the married date, like, you're married and, like, sparks fly and now you love each other so much more. And some people treat marriage as the climax of a relationship where, like, this is where the best is going to get and it's not going to get any better and it's going to go all downhill. Like, none of that is true. In fact, every day I'm with Josh... My love just grows for him, and, like, the marriage was not our climax. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. I guess, like, the biggest change to our relationship after we got married was that, that we moved in together for the first time. Um, so, I'm a Christian, and Josh is a Christian as well, so we don't necessarily believe in moving in together until, like, you're wed or, I guess, wedded. Um, and so, moving in together was, like... The big shock but it was very easy and it hasn't really like affected anything like it wasn't like a super big change that like was very shocking uh, we're both very easygoing uh, we both are very clean people and so like moving in together was great I love like I've loved it I, I get to see him every day which is something I didn't get to before um, because there's often times where I would be so homesick, like, I would miss Josh so much, it, I'd feel homesick, like, I'm like, I miss Josh so much, but now that we're together, we get to see each other every day, and my favorite thing is waking up, and he's the first thing I see, and going to bed, because he's, like, the last thing I see, and it's really, really nice, like, it's just nice, I, I, I love that about our relationship. Um, I also feel like I do understand Josh a lot better. Uh, since we've been married in the sense that since I'm with him all the time I feel like I know his soul a lot better because I see him all the time I see how he reacts I see his downtime I see everything and it makes me just understand 
his actions, the way he feels so much better. Just knowing, because I'm there all the time. And it has just been great. It's just so nice to have somebody there for you. Um, being married is amazing in the sense that, like, you guys can go through everything and you promise to go through everything together because Josh has promised me to give me everything. And so, like, I can be my, my truest self and most vulnerable with this person and know that he's not going anywhere. And that's amazing. Like, you, can, you don't even feel that way with your family, some people. Or, like, because you can be different and think differently from your family. But when you're with somebody that's, like, your person, <laughs> um, it's the best feeling in the world. You feel so relaxed. Like, I feel the most stress-free and ease I've ever felt in my life because of being with Josh. Also the happiest I've ever been. I like him. I wish he could be in this video. I tried to persuade him so bad. We got in a little argument. I feel bad. If you're watching this, Josh, I'm sorry for arguing with you. There is also, like, some downsides to marriage. Like, I mean... There's sacrifices. Uh, the biggest sacrifice was um, kind of becoming a new family. So if you're like really close to your family, um, well, here's some biblical advice. I believe when in a marriage, you guys should come together and create your own family. Therefore, you leave your family, meaning that don't bring your family's inputs into your marriage. Create your marriage together and strive to be one. If you do what your family did and he wants to do what his family did, um, and like you guys are clashing, you guys aren't becoming one together, and you guys aren't creating a new family. Every family is going to be different. You can even ask your parents, like, how similar is their marriage to their parents' marriage? Like, you kind of have to create that. And it's been difficult because I, I miss my family dearly. Josh and I had to move out here to Hawaii, very small island, so I don't get to see him that much or hear from them as often. And same with him. And that has been a really hard change, but we have each other to go through it, and that's pretty cool. Another hard thing about our marriage in particular is that since we had to move out here, since marriage is sacrifice, we moved out to Hawaii for Josh's job, and um, it was a great opportunity, but it leaves me not as much to do. I live on a very, very small island of 3,000, and um, I just do a lot of volunteer work, and um, just to kind of keep me busy, and I'm also away from my friends and family. I miss a lot of my closest friends. They're all back at home and I don't really get to see them because I'm currently out here for Josh. And um, marriage is a lot of that sacrifice. Like you will have to move around or figure out what is best for you guys to do. And because um, you guys aren't living independent lives anymore. And which is also a great character building thing. It's just like you're not living for yourself, but you're living with some, for somebody else. And you're always considering other people into the mix of your decisions. And that has, have, has had me grown, grow a lot as a person. And honestly, I don't find it, I guess, what is it? Is that word? I can't think of that word right now. I don't find it as like a barrier to my life, but like an opportunity. Like, I've just grown so much in my relationship with Josh as a person, and I would never take that back. And I know, like, um, with young marriage, people get the huge critique, like, you gotta live for yourself, you gotta find your life, figure it out, but I don't mind at all. Yeah, so those are pros and cons to marriage, um, but uh, some things I didn't expect... And I think the biggest thing I didn't expect is just kind of like the um, everyone's kind of opinions on my relationship with Josh and my marriage with Josh. Because when people find out I'm married, the first thing they ask me is like, like how old are you? And I'll be like, oh, I'm, I'm 21. And the first thing they'll say is like this, you, how did you get married so young? And like, when I was 21, I was drinking and I was doing this. I don't know why my southern accent's in. But... For some reason, we're going to do this in a really shitty southern accent. Um, like, why aren't you, like, living your life and all that stuff? And I'm like, well, I am living my life, and I found the person I want to be with, and it happened to be at a very young age. 
and I don't want to date around or find anybody else. I, I found my person, I and I'm happy. And like, I didn't expect us to be so hated because people like to compare you to themselves and they like to be like, well, this is the right thing to do and this is what they're doing, so therefore what they're doing is the right thing. And it is just frustrating. And you guys know about my young marriage video, um, more about my opinions about marrying young and all that fun stuff. So you can click on that video if you want to go hear more of a rant on it. But it just gets so tiring. Like, I'm like, what, like, even when I was younger and I wasn't sure about young marriage and I saw young people getting married, I never said anything. Like, it's not even my place to say anything. I don't know them or anything like that. I'm not going to say anything. I take marriage to be a very serious thing. And if they're married, then that is their choice. Um, so that was, like, a huge thing that has just kind of been, like, a downside to our marriage. But at the same time, like, haters going to hate. I hate that term. Haters going to hate. Potatoes going to potate. Who cares? I don't, I don't care. In fact... I hope to be a testimony in my relationship with Josh to show that, like, young ma marrying young is fine. Like, we're we're okay. We're not. The world's not gonna blow up. I, I'm I'm I positive. I'm positive. Positive. Uh, but that is just like kind of a short video um, about my my marriage with Josh. If you guys want to have any other newlywed questions, let me know below or anything you guys want to me to answer in another video. I'm happy to make it. Uh, thank you guys for clicking on my channel and for viewing my videos again. Appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it uh, or subscribe. And if you don't, well then have a good day and your opinion is yours.